All right, we're reviewing a, uh, a single stage bootstrap uh, gas booster package. And uh, this is a single stage unit. And the reason we call it a bootstrap is that it's all plumbed right on the booster, as you can see. There's no frame, uh, everything's inline mounted, uh, it's very portable and uh, easy to incorporate into other machinery. Uh, the bootstrap package is kind of broken down into three basic uh, parts of the plumbing here. The air control package, which is right here, which controls the air drive and the reciprocating uh, nature of the gas booster. Uh, the inlet plumbing, which happens on the single stage, is on the far side. Uh, it's a single stage booster, so the inlets, there's two inlets on one side, and then the, out, the third portion of this package is the outlet plumbing. Uh, so first of all, when you're uh, going to operate this machine, uh, you want to make sure your air drive uh, is off. We've got a ball valve here, it's turned off. Air regulator is backed off so there's no pressure to the system. Uh, and a little further, uh, part of the control of this system are the air pilot switches. On this gas booster package, uh, there happens to be two switches an inlet uh, air pilot switch and an air outlet air pilot switch. The inlet switch uh, requires a minimum of 150 psi in this case in order for the booster to operate. Otherwise, it won't op the booster will not run. And on the outlet is sensed so that uh, and it can be adjusted. Either switch can be adjusted for different pressures, but the outlet pressure switch will shut it off automatically at a de predetermined set outlet pressure. Uh, and like I said, they're both adjustable very easily through this gland nut. Uh, so having said that, to, to run this, uh, this package, uh, make sure your vent valve here is closed. Regulator's backed off, air valve shut. Uh, we've turned on the gas uh, to the inlet portion of this package. So we've got inlet pressure on the inlet uh, as uh, indicated on an outlet gauge. Now, the inlet gas pressure will free flow through the booster to your outlet connection. Uh, so there is a couple hundred PSI being shown on the outlet gauge, and that's why there's inlet and outlet check valves which are free flowing inlet to outlet. So I'm going to turn this on. We've got 100 PSI air or available to the regulator. And like I said, I've got gas pressure going to the, to the bootstrap package. And this happens to be a, uh, a 15 to 1 booster. It's a DLE 15. So the air drive pressure times 15 will be the outlet pressure at stall. So, for example, if I'll crank this uh, air, regulator in to get air regulator in to get some air drive pressure to this. You've heard it take a stroke. Uh, we've got it isolated at the outlet so there's not much volume to fill up. Uh, but as we crank down the air drive pressure, the outlet pressure will increase by a factor of 15 times your air drive plus your inlet gas pressure, which is only 150, 200 psi at this point. So if I 50 times 15, 750, plus your air drive, or plus the inlet gas pressure of 200, I'm showing close to 1,000 PSI on the stall pressure. If the demand of the gas is less than a stall pressure, obviously the gas booster is going to run. So if I crack the outlet pressure, the booster will continue to run to maintain that pressure that it's set at. If I shut the outlet off, it'll go to stall. 15 times 50, 750, plus your inlet pressure, 200, about 950. Uh, again, the outlet switches are settable. This happens to be set for 1,200 for this booster to shut off automatically through the outlet pressure switch. So as I crank this uh, air drive regulator upwards, it'll continue to take a stroke and the outlet pressure switch just shut off. It's at 1,200 PSI and it's ready for the gas to be consumed. Once gas is starting to be used, then the switch will cut on, cut back in about 10%, less than set pressure, and allow the booster to continue running then until either it's uh, stalled uh, or uh, keep on operating as gas demand is required.
as part of the safety part of this, there's a uh, safety relief valve set for 1500 PSI in this case. Uh, that's adjustable. Uh, it's factory set on a predetermined level, but that, that is adjustable. Again, a vent valve, outlet pressure gauge, and uh, typically an inline filter on the outlet. This model happens to be an MTNB2, which stands for Max Pro Technology Nitrogen Booster, which is also any inert gas. The two indicates a 2,000 psi uh, rated system. Uh, then the model of a gas booster, DLE15. In this case, uh, dash DAS indicates a dry air spool option is installed uh, for very dry air uh, or nitrogen uh, air drive sources. And uh, this is also dash O2E, so this is intended for oxygen, pure oxygen service. Uh, hasn't been cleaned completely yet for oxygen service, but it'll be taken apart and cleaned for oxygen service. But uh, uh, in general, this is the general setup for a, uh, a bootstrap style gas booster package. And an outlet switch for this particular application. However, typically uh, a package such as this will only have the outlet switch, adjustable outlet switch for shut off pressure. Typically the inlet switch is not part of a, a, a standard uh, gas bootstrap package.